I yeah. think the biggest point that you missed, Sasha, was when um, Sasha in the show asked the question that all of the uh, parody were thinking, but nobody was, you know, brave enough to ask: is why Onyo Capone is black <laughs> or dark oh, skin? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like the first time yes. seeing a black guy. <laughs> Good old Onion Coupon. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I will say I, I did appreciate Onion Coupon's response, where he was just saying like, "Oh, you know, we were just mixed differently by God," and they're just like, "Oh, really? Then why do we look like this?" And they're just like, "It's God, baby." <laughs> that was like pretty much it. Welcome to Sasagio Sundays. On the show, we're discussing the final season of Attack on Titan. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Taylor. Hello. Next, we have Justin. Hello, everyone. Next, we have Ku. Yo, yo. Next, we have Sasha. Shinzo. And, fi- and finally, we have Brian. Sasagio! All right. And- oh, so good. It gets yep. better each week. And guest appearances by Stren. <laughs> Yes. Oh, thanks, man. Yep. So, <laughs> um, so, th- um, so this episode AOT, uh, we basically like like Taylor and Justin were saying last week. It's just more revealing more of what happened in like the in between times between like season three, season four. So that was nice. Uh, I want I want to give shout outs to Sasha because he basically predicted the whole like Titans in the wall thing. I was completely like, yeah, like disregarding him, and now I just I look dumb because because you guys spot on. So props to you, man. Dude, one theory out of a thousand. That's all it takes. <laughs> Everybody gets one. <laughs> so props to you, Sasha King. That, and then also rip rip Sasha fans because you could see her one more time. So yeah. the good old days. Yep. Isayama's just taking that knife and twisting it this episode. He's like, oh. You like her death? Let me let me show you a bunch of stuff on her. (laughs) Sasha will very much remain present, like in memory. You know what I mean? In feeling, it's 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 terrible. Yeah. Oh, and and speaking of like good things that have come to pass, man, Mikasa, what happened to you, girl? Because man, you look pretty damn good. (laughs) All I gotta say. Three years ago, (laughs) oh my god, what happened? It's only been three years. The waifu, red happens, done. Yes. I heard when you live with a guy named Ku for three years, <laughs> it oh, goes that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, know, I don't really have much to say this episode because, like, it's just yeah, a lot of more lore dump, I guess, or just like explanations for a lot Whoa. of things that we're watching. But bro, I don't have We're much to say. Hate. David, do you remember last nah. time when you said this? <laughs> Dude, yeah. you're caught I don't know how you say that, David. There like, we go. A fan of the show, and then that's what you say. Like, oh, actually, I feel like horrible actually any yeah. i forgot the game too give a shout out to the comments uh the guy backing up uh, sasha's point about aaron's you know because you wrote that whole th- that, a bunch of nice uh comments so watch shout out to you because basically oh. backed up sasha as well yes did you see it sasha or no i did but didn't like yeah. disappeared it felt like did it oh, he, he, oh still he, there. no it's still there and yeah you just have to like resort well, it by like newest comment it's weird. Shout out to that person because I think he said like Aaron is the one suffering the most. Yeah, yeah, he backed you up. Yep. He's like that yep. guy. He, he knew what back. he was talking about. He got yeah. Back. Thank you. It was like a very Thank long paragraph. Was... Like, yes. basically no, but he got you back. So. I should have just created an alt account and room like why Gabby is in the right. <laughs> <laughs> just the combat. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, yeah. I, I will say this. this the first episode this season that had me a little misty eyed where I was like, oh man. And it was actually. It was it was because of everything that was coming together, and then you had our boy Nicolo, the <laughs> lobster cook man. You had the fucking lobster cook out of all the food master, <laughs> the food master, and uh, he who was captured by what what would we call them the paradisers. Yep, yep. Let's just call them the paradisers. Okay, the parody, paradisers. Got it. That's right. He was captured by them. You know. He's forced to cook for them, and he ends up falling, not in love, but basically, like, he has a great respect and admiration for Sasha because she was just like, dude, your food is so good, and I love it. And she cried tears of joy because they were stuck with just island food, which was terrible and atrocious. (laughs) And then you flash forward, and this man is at her grave crying. And that's not even the part that choked me up. It's the part where her parents come to visit, and he's like, hey, 
listen, she meant a lot to me. I'll, I'll cook some food for you. And then her dad was just a gangster. He's like, yeah, as long as it's on the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's rough times, man. I'm going to need that for free 99. <laughs> Priorities. Yeah, so, Priorities. I mean, that's the moment that sticks out for me because this, like I said, his whole background, like he had so many reasons not to even show any respect or cook for them. And it shows you that one, you know, when it comes to war, we're one and the same, but we, we easily take sides, which is not the best for humanity as a whole. But uh, just a very touching moment, I thought. Yeah, but I, I think the biggest point that you missed, Sasha, was when um, Sasha in the show asked the question that all of the uh, parody were thinking, but nobody was you know brave enough to ask is why Onyo Capone is black <laughs> or dark oh, skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like the first time yes. seeing a black guy. <laughs> Good old onion coupon. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I will say, I, I did appreciate onion coupon's response where he was just saying like, oh, you know, we were just mixed differently by God. And they're just like, oh, really? Then why do we look like this? And they're just like, it's God, baby. <laughs> and that was like pretty much it. Yeah, I, so, honestly, I like the way they handle that. That could have been, you know, that those situations could go wrong so easily. But he's just like, hey, man, God likes a little bit of variety. So he threw yeah. us in here. Like, I mean, I think oh, it was okay. nice in the sense of like they just showed like how sheltered the parody Eldians are. Like they don't know anything of the outside world. Like, you know, they're yep. slowly starting to learn about Marley and everything. And we get like a really big lore dump from um, Yelena and Onyo Capone when they're talking to uh, Levi and Hanji in the tent yep. and they're just like oh so what's going on with marley and they're like yeah we got guns and you know hanji's staring down like the barrel of the gun and almost shoots herself in the face and um they're like oh yeah they got ships they got this they got that the whole world you know is their enemy so that's why they didn't come and attack you guys after the warrior unit failed their mission so like like uh david started off we got a lot of great lore of you know what was happening these three years and then you know, also kind of a really big um, harping point on, you know, at the end of the day, Marlians, Eldians, devils, not devils, all, you know, things aside, everybody is just people at the end of the day. And that's really what I think this episode touched upon is like breaking down those barriers. Mm. Yeah, so. I love the opening shot too. It reminded me of Godzilla, the way Aaron just pops out of the water. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's funny because... Um, the Al Kruger, he has a very similar like shot in the manga from earlier where he does like the exact same thing. And I think they showed that in uh, the flashback yeah, in the anime. Yeah, so this is very fitting of like, mm -hmm. just keep on, you know, harping back to, to old scenes from previous seasons and previous chapters. Indeed. Yeah. They were also saying too how like, yeah, like, like you're saying uh, the whole theme is like we're all people, but they're also saying, oh, we just need, you know, we just need time to convince people like like we're not the devils that you think or whatever and they're also hopping on that Aaron is like we don't have time you know like Zeke only has three years left so mm. yeah like also showing like we got I guess we got to trust what he's got to say because we're running out of time yeah he was also no, kind of going the fatalist route by saying well they think that we're all people that can turn into scary titans and they're not wrong that is what we are so you know they're not misinterpreting it's very fatalist <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's at the end mm -hmm. was that present time or like every the paradise island people were like pointing their guns at what's your face yeah the Armin twin i'm pretty sure yep. yeah and onion coupon they still have to be careful yeah yeah, yeah. yep <sighs> is there an explanation Dude. as to why They're just being cautious because they still can't yeah. trust zeke's Zeke. back yeah mm -hmm. yep that like, was just zeke mm -hmm. Because ahead, basically Taylor. now that basically now that Zeke is there, they're just trying to keep everything extremely under control because absolutely nobody trusts Zeke after all this. Really, yeah. For, and, for, and that was yeah, something else that I really loved that this episode that was very subtle is when um, they first bring Zeke in and it flashes to the courtroom where they're talking about like, okay, you know, we got Zeke here. We know he tried to take the Finding Titan through force that didn't work, so now he's going to try to be a diplomat. And he's like, can we trust him? And all of the military officials are like. No, we can't trust him. Like, look what he did to Rockago Village, which, if you notice very subtly when they said that, they panned to Connie because that's the village that Connie's family's from where oh, his mom and everybody was turned into a titan. Mm -hmm. So um, that was one very subtle, like, thing that they did because um, mm -hmm. the focus shot wasn't on, like, Connie specifically. But when you look at him, like, he's not looking, like, up. He's looking down and kind of has, like, this, like, you know, kind of like, oh, shit, like, yeah. That happened. That was my family that just got entirely like turned into Titans. 
Um, That's pretty interesting that you brought that up because it makes me think of Aaron and how he was basically hunted by them and brought to the courtroom where Levi, you know, gently roughed him up in a nice mm-hmm. way. Um, so now his half brother is getting the exact same treatment as he was, where they're like, "This is a necessary weapon that we have to have and part- partake with and communicate with." But you know, at the end of the day, we don't trust them. Just like we didn't trust Aaron being a titan. Exactly. Um, I'm trying to think what other subtleties. The point that David just brought up, the whole thing about like Armin saying, like, you know, oh, if we go forward with Yelena and Zeke's plans, like we're just basically feeding into the concept that we are devils. And I think in the Crunchyroll subs, like they emphasized or italicized the devil's word. So I thought that was a really good, you know, usage there of showing like, okay, like we're kind of playing into the thing that everybody thinks that we are. Like we don't want to be devils and we're not devils at the end of the day, but to Aaron's mindset and to the point he brings up, he's like, we don't have time for people to change their mindset on us. So it's like, that's just the, you know, the role that we serve. It's probably why, to kind too, of... like why he rushed in like that. And like, I remember was pissed at him. Cause like they probably had some other, I don't know what else they were thinking, but like basically it, it makes sense now. The whole thing of like having Aaron like go in alone and having everyone else bail him out. You know, I think yep. I, was, I was wondering too, is like when Armin was talking to Annie, I wonder if there's anything that happened with her. Like, it's like the first time I've seen Annie in forever. And I just, right? I don't really know like how important she'd be. She sounded like, because her power didn't seem that, seem that special in the first place. So I don't really know how, like, what, what's like, what she's got to do with anything. Can her power only be transferred to females if she's the female Titan? You know what? There's actually a video don't. on YouTube that I meant to click on today where it was like, where it went over what happens if a male eats the female Titan. I will watch that and I'll link it to you guys. I should get around to it, but I'll link it. <laughs> I think I can figure out what happens, you know? <laughs> you know, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, they don't really explain much about the female Titan. So I, I don't know what's, what's on with that or Annie. So. Yeah, I'm very curious to see that. I think going back to that earlier point, I think that speech, or not the speech, but the moment between Armin, Mikasa, and Aaron shows you, like, you know, these guys were, what, like, 12, 13, 14, when their village was pretty much ramsacked, their family mm-hmm. members died, and now they're having to make these life-altering decisions, not that they haven't in the past, but look at the way they're, they're being forced to think of other people, like, yes, we are considered the devils, we're considered the demons, and you have two options. We can either wait it out and peacefully show people over time that bad or you know we could just go wreck them in the face and then hopefully we win the war and they figure it out that way when you look at our society in general it's it's almost the same thing because okay let's take for example the japanese right the japanese in world war ii were considered public enemy number one everyone that was here was not trusted so like zeke they were pretty much detained put into inter- internment camps and even to this day older generations still have the sentiment of why are we driving japanese vehicles in our country that we fought a war against so imagine like i get armin's point but i also i'm, I'm a little bit on aaron's side here because they're really it takes so long and so much time and so much effort to do things the peaceful way not saying that it's right or wrong but just saying like Good golly, for the amount of time they have left, I see Aaron's way as the only way, realistically and practically. Uh, yeah, mm. I back I back Sasha up like that. Just, especially as the audience, like we know like how capable Marley is as a nation, like their military and like their technological advantage. So I'm just, yeah, I'm on that mindset. Like if you don't do anything, you just got to get invaded in, in Paradise. So I'm I'm with you, Sasha. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> The only other things I could think from this episode of there was a lot of like focus on Armin because obviously, you know, he's telling the entire story to Annie. He's narrating this episode. And then so one, you have the the seashell, which he obviously got from the end of season three when they first, you know, arrive on the beach. So that has kind of like pick that up. So thanks for okay. So yeah, so that has sentimental value to him. The other part that I forgot to mention is when uh, Aaron, Armin and Mikasa are sitting at the shooting range and Aaron's kind of talking to him and being like, Hey, so did you get anything from Berthold's memories? And Armin kind of looks away and is like, nope, nothing, you know, particular. So not that there's anything too much to read into it, but it was kind of interesting of like Armin's kind of hesitation to tell Aaron everything See, when potentially. You, when you mention that, because I know like, that's, what, that's why I thought about Annie, because Berthold, you know, he was really attached to Annie. And now that yeah. Armin has his memory, it's like, is that something? Mm. It, I wonder if that's, if that's like, thing but again i don't really see potentially i don't really see how important annie is it doesn't feel like she's gonna matter much 
So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we definitely don't know, you know, too much well, at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, as we know, acoustic point, everything well, matters. Per- yeah. Par- par- partly with Annie, some things to consider are her personality. Her personality is very decisive and very like like I'm just saying like certain strengths of hers could play a role, but also she has knowledge about Marley that could be useful. I mean, I know they've been working with people, but there's things she could bring to the table and. Her Titan is still really powerful. It can still be strong against certain I guess, weapons. And I guess I'm like, I'm downplaying. I, sh- I guess I should think like you know the more warrior titans the better. You might as well have more advantages for your side. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just can't see as a her like it's the defi- decisive factor like like a founding titan would be. Uh, so, got it. Um, the other thing that I don't think we touched, and not that there's too much like um weight to this moment, was just the whole scene with Levi and Zeke when they're in the carriage. <laughs> And just talking. And, and I just loved it because, you know, you can just feel the tension in that scene when Zeke is kind of saying, like, hey, why are you guys calling this, like, a victory? Like, aren't you counting your, you know, chickens before your eggs have hatched type of mentality? Mm. And Levi's kind of just like, yeah, whatever. He's shut like, up, you know, I we got this. <laughs> yeah, he's like, shut up. And then he's just like, I could kill you at any time. So it's pretty much, you know, like, in that whole ride, like, Zeke's prob- or, uh, Levi's probably got one hand on his blade somewhere or another where he's just like, this guy tries anything funny, like, I'm killing him right here, right now. But the other part that was damned. <laughs> yes, exactly. And so the other part that was interesting was the quote unquote hotel that they have for Zeke, which was the <laughs> Titan Forest, which if you remember yeah. from previous seasons, that has a lot of kind of sentimental reference of one. It's not that it's the exact same forest where they fought Annie, but they used the Titan Forest for fighting Annie. They used it for when um, Reiner and Bertholdt were running away with Aaron and Ymir in the forest. So that was another thing that I liked that they kind of like subtly put in there again of just like tying all these like locations to place. Um, and then the last thing I will say is when I can't remember if it's like in the beginning or the middle, but Armin is saying like, oh, you know, I always thought that uh, I knew Aaron even better than Mikasa. And he's kind of questioning. He's like, well, now I don't even know that's true. And I want to say like that kind of specifically tied into the part at the end of the episode, which um, apologies, you know, for those listening to our recordings here. But I'm going to put an image into our discord chat that ties in a reference that is like kind of like, oh, shit, like this is really big when you think about it. Um, So I just posted here. So these are scenes from season one to season four. And this is kind of the ending of the episode when they're thinking of the ideology. And, you know, one of the things that we constantly see is even Mikasa is kind of starting to, you know, wonder, like, is what Aaron's doing, like, the right thing? Is, you know, can I really have faith in him? And, you know, through this direct correlation, we see, you know, Mikasa is whispering these same words that Aaron said to her way back when of just, like, moving forward, needing to fight. And that's what we need to do. So, wow. Again, I man, the subtleties and everything, yeah, it's, it's insane. Isayama, like, hats off to him, and I'm sure there's even stuff when this season finishes and the manga finishes in April here. I'll definitely go back and see if there's anything else that people haven't found yet. Speaking of subtlety, yeah. something I noticed in this episode that I'm not sure if it's important or not, but they showed it twice, was um, Aaron down, you know, facing the mirror, and it has a close-up of his face where he breathes out, and there's... Um, like cold air coming out. Does that mean anything? Did that mean anything to anybody else? They showed it twice and like highlighted it. So I wasn't really sure oh. if I don't know. I'm not good. Yeah, it's either either yeah, one, realities. it's just cold down in that basement where he is, or they're trying to draw weird. that. Weird. Like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Because I think is so particular about what they include. And so I'm like, is there something I'm missing? Maybe he started smoking. So his uh, Titan Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. He, he just pulled a couple years. <laughs> the Marlians had like dual technology that Yelena and uh, Onya Capone <laughs> brought with them. And just like, Aaron, here you go. Their greatest technological <laughs> advancement. That's how they're ruining <laughs> the t- the lungs will harden. Oh god, the Titan Vape Nation. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. And I don't know why, but the Attack on Titan Reddit loves putting like Aaron and other characters in like supreme, like over the top street clothing <laughs> as like oh, memes. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> because that's the fan base. That's exactly the yeah. fan base <laughs> I see. Like that, yeah, into right? AOT. Yep. <laughs> so it's, it's like, full, it's, like, like... <laughs> it's like almost like crossed with like DBZ fan base who Yep. It's it's so um, funny hey, though. I hey, don't you dare it. compare us, all right? <laughs> I'm sorry. We're in a different uh, league. I love Shout it. Shout out to the violinist who whoever worked on the soundtrack because I thought it was just it was really composer, well done. Hasn't like, the composer always been Sawano or is it someone else this season? 
It's Sawano still. Okay. So yeah. I think it's yeah. always been Sawano. Well, and that guy is. Well, Sawano. He, he, he can't miss, mm-hmm. honestly. No. He can't. Sawano, <laughs> shout out to you, Sawano. Um, but I will say one other thing. Like, I remember. So I binged seasons one through three. And when I got to the end of season three, I was like, I don't know how to feel about this. They're going to a different island. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This whole backstory, this whole Eldian German Nazi allegory. I don't know. I don't know. And then season four starts. And while it was hype and I was beyond bonkers about that first episode, you guys all heard the frustration come out. I think it was like episode four where like, dude, just tell me how did we get to this point or give me some semblance of that old cast that we had. Hmm. And I was, But I always had faith because I'm like, you know what? AOT is that good that it's going to pay you back. And I felt like this was that episode. Even though we got to see all that action and everything, it felt so good to have all the past three years justified and explained. And then also just the idea of the Titans on Paradis being there to hold these people in, but at the same time preventing anybody from attacking. I was like, mind blown, Isayama. So good. Man, I would just love to just tickle this man's toe to get some of his genius inside of my DNA. Because uh, I, I just love it. Like, <laughs> this world has expanded so well. It's 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 really fascinating. Still hate Gabby though. Hope you die. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's not an unpopular opinion. So yeah, at least we only got brief airtime of Gabby. You know, just oh yeah, she's so pure depth there. Yep. Like, oh my god. So it's like yeah. no, basically like when she was like. Like yeah, just saying his name. Like there's that basically means like she's not gonna change her character. Yeah, because so. it's like oh. why wouldn't she also be upset with Zeke? Like if you really think about it, Zeke's the one who did the big betrayal at the end of the day. And, like they had so much love for Zeke. Like yeah, I think uh, those are always harder to swallow when like someone you idolized or you looked up to. You're like you're always trying to think of reasons or just yeah. You would think it could never be them. Yeah, there's a reason for yeah. it. So it's I easy will say, to hate. Aaron. Here comes my one nitpick. I think Mikasa and Levi just look weird in uh, ever since we've crossed over to the new studio. Like, hmm. I've never thought they look like themselves <laughs> naturally. Like, there's a weird shot. There's one of Levi right when he drops off Zeke outside of the hotel forest, and he kind of looks back and he makes that sound where he's like, tss. and I'm like, yeah. his nose just look kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's a very minor detail, but I felt like those two characters specifically don't look like themselves like there's I mean, something missing the noses were a big factor in animation change that was like yeah, one of the first things right. when they saw a map as design they were like what is this what are these noses yeah. <laughs> so um, that, that's I the thought, one thing i did like it, it just jumped out a little bit at me but i like thought I john looked really funky in the flashback versus what we saw him in like, in the flashback i thought so too i, I was like i was like, it took me a minute i was like wait yeah. that's that's john like i remember I like i was like okay hanji sasha connie and i'm like who the hell is this guy and I'm like, like, wait, that's... Kid that's... He looks like the kid that, like, sells marijuana to other kids in high school. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I mean, wow, he, yeah, he, he didn't yet grow his, uh, I think as Sasha said last week, his pubic facial hair, but it's just like, who, who is this <laughs> man? <laughs> Yo, man, I'm going back. I'm pulling up the VOD, baby. <laughs> I, it was definitely bad. I know exactly who you're talking about. Thanks, Red. See? Told you. You Fake bastard. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah. Well, but, for the Ackerman segment, I think Levi looks just as good if not improved. He does look different, I will admit it, but I think he looks better. Mikasa, I'll leave up to you guys. I don't care. No, no, me, the one Mikasa. thing I can never get over at the end of the day is is <laughs> if you look up <laughs> shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, look up look up Levi's height. That's the biggest disservice they've done to Levi. And is he's he the what? only he one too. Something like that. And he's the only yeah. one I'm pretty sure in the time skip did oh. not gain any height. Because he was already an adult, if, if I think, he's... already back. Yep. If he's fine, yeah, that's true. He's older, he's yeah. Female fans <laughs> are out. I guarantee you. <laughs> out of everything, I've noticed from talking to lots of females, because, you know, this is what I, what I do all the time. Um, all right, all right. <laughs> most of them, they don't care if you're a little bit, you know, it could be a little bit overweight. You might have some back hair. You might have like a missing leg. But the moment you are shorter than them, oh, oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, no. So, uh, Levi, think, that's the exception. You know, yeah, except for Levi. He, maybe he could use his like little blades and stilts <laughs> and oh walk God. around. Wow. La, 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 la. It's a me, Levi. Oh, yeah. Big man over here talking shit about the short people. No, I'm, just, I'm not talking at them directly. I'm just saying, listen, man, 
a, a lot of females, that's their cutoff. They're like, I don't care if you're poor. I don't care if you got a disease. But if, if you're short, I can't wear my heels around you. It's just bad. I've heard that story at least eight times. So, you know, that counts for 80% of the population. In my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. The other thing I'll say from this episode is that... <laughs> I was kind of sad that we didn't get to see more of uh, Historia. We just saw Historia during like the courtroom scene, and that was it. It's like, oh this hey, been trash, bro. Let's I mean, see. not that she's doing much. She's just literally like royal Honestly, royalty like, life I now. I don't really care about her character as much because she didn't really do much in the scouts. So, like, yeah, she's, like she doesn't. That's have, true. Like, she never really had that much physical strength. She was barely. She only had by. the one badass scene when she kills uh, her dad. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. but she was like and that doesn't even count. And she was, dad was she's mainly getting protected by Ymir most of the time and then like and then everyone had and then the whole historic arc had to protect her so i just didn't really care for her as much it's really too bad like i feel like if there's anybody that isayama did dirty it's historia because there's really nothing wrong with her like she doesn't do anything bad she's not annoying but, well, it's like, I, she's, I don't know she's not she's not strong or smart which is like the only way to get by in this world so so, so what David is saying is she's kind of useless. So <laughs> yeah, oh, kind of similar to uh, some other characters words. we talked about earlier. <laughs> but anyway, I, I feel like she's got that Sakura plot armor. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what David's trying to say here. But I don't know. We All I'm going to say is this, be. right? Season two, she doesn't take the drippy drip Titan steroids. I think uh, they alluded to <laughs> that she might change her mind because two reasons. Here's my logic. Number one, Aaron was like, ah, you know, I want to protect her. I didn't want to just use her as part of an experiment. So she's probably like, listen, I can decide that for myself. And then number two, when they showed um, Yelena and her little group of people with the guns pointed at them, and they're like, thanks for giving us all the vials of uh, Titan steroids. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking like somebody's going to take those. I mean, there might be 50 of them that take them, but however many vials they had, I think she's going to be one of them that takes it. Um, but We'll see how. Also, shout out to Commander Pixies. I have missed that guy. I love that bald man just drinking his way through everything. Like, I absolutely loved it season one, or I think it was season one, where he's just like, yes, war. War is tough on everybody. And he just pulls out a flask from his jacket. He's like, oh, time to drink, you drink, baby. <laughs> uh, I would definitely be Commander Pixies. Like, so for the Titans here, I'm like, isn't isn't like, though, if you're not a warrior Titan, like you basically lose all your humanity once you turn into a Titan. So wouldn't that be risky if it's... Sure, it does it, unless it's like her royal blood that gives her special privileges. Dude, so you just be you just be a pure mind. yeah a pure titan. Yeah, so still one of those like a warrior ones. to like regain like your to regain like your humanity. Yeah, you have to eat one of the nine. <laughs> so, so time for I mean, Aaron. <laughs> either yeah, it doesn't really do them any good, or maybe they plan to like use it on the Marlians that they have. I don't know. Well, said so it can help them avoid another situation. Oh like, wait, no, they can't or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I forgot they can't use it on the Marlians because you can only use it on Eldians to transform. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. She takes off her blonde hair. It's a wig. She's like, my name's Hector. I'm from Marley. <laughs> Start stabbing people. Uh, I will say, though, though, I I completely forgot about Yelena and Onion Coupon's backgrounds. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, Taylor, that they were like basically like war kill war soldiers of like countries that Marley basically obliterated. I didn't know that. I didn't, or I didn't remember. That's the reason why they joined like zeke's like side i remember Not because either. the only thing i could think of is why the fuck would anybody look up to zeke and be like oh yeah he's our savior like yeah because like yelena is so like freakishly devoted to him and i was like there's gotta be a reason yeah i love the the, the way that they panned it to of yelena just in a boat like staring at zeke and his monkey form he's like oh big monkey my savior <laughs> oh, my, my god, my god. Yeah. he is god big exactly <laughs> <laughs> I think she's going on my least favorite characters list. Like her and Gabby need to brutally die. I just can't stand her. I, whoa, I whoa, whoa, whoa. I what the hell are you related to? Other than that, yeah. I mean, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> oh, she's just you know, she's just one of those people you get bad vibes from at the party where you're like, "Hey guys, I made a joke," and then she's secretly judging you. It doesn't crack a smile, so you're like, "Dude, I hope you get run over by a steamroller <laughs> tonight." <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> Do you just like hate blondes yeah. who are taller than you, bro? Is, is that what the, oh, the problem here is? Oh, yeah. Bro, there it is. What's, where's one other blonde character that I've hated? Uh, Yelena? That's that's all I got. But uh... That's what I'm saying. See? <laughs> Armin? See? That's a stereotype. Cool. That, you are that, spreading stereotypes. That'll be the one thing. If we want to talk you? about like hating Coming characters, from you? Oh my the God. one thing I hated was uh, Armin's yee-yee ass haircut that they brought back in the flashback. <laughs> I definitely did not miss that shit. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, bro, God. come on, man. 
You take a mop, you put it on your head, you got it. <laughs> That's the Armin look, bro. So adorable. You guys are just... I was just saying, you uh, get so many fans, and then Taylor just proved my point. Make... <laughs> adorable. Oh, God. This man look like a scarecrow. <laughs> Hey, That's remember, she, he's he's tall in the six feet now, so it fits all the girls, Ooh. you know, description. So Ooh. we good, we good. But, uh, yep. I don't know. Good time I will say, I'm glad that we have a uh, Chad Aaron now with the open, like, trench coat look with his, like, 12 pack rather than hey, hobo Aaron. I approve. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I'm glad he shaved. He, he just looks like he's ready for that job interview he's been waiting for. Yeah. He's <laughs> ripped out funny. of his mind, got the Neo yeah. trench coat, and then got the ponytail going full force. Is it a ponytail or a man bun? I feel like he's going for that man, man bun. Right? It's like a man, man bun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man Dude, bun. I, feel, I see all these girls online like lusting after Aaron, and I'm like, he looks like the <laughs> Unabomber. I don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Okay. Rude. Well, you think so, Armin's so rude, with his so. trench coat and like what? I don't know. His dead eyes. Like he looks so <laughs> creepy. Dude, how dare you talk to me? I'm gonna be honest. I just Rude. looked at the Unabomber because I forgot what it looked like. He looks nothing like us, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <of> spitballing. <laughs> oh, God. You tell me, in the future, I'm going to be wearing a trench coat and have dead eyes. I think I'm going to be the number one bachelor in the town. So <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Uh, all right, I don't have anything else. Yeah. So anyone wants um, say anything? It looks more like up. Zeke. The the only other thing I can say is the great battle that is incurring on my anime list between Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Attack on Titan, where hey. now Attack on Titan has dropped multiple points by some unknown means. Exactly because it's tra it, it can't compete, bro. Yo, man, yeah, the two point. I, I will give credit. Yo. The two point one million fans they showed that they are the bigger fan base and they control the rating board at the end of the exactly. day. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is why it's Stratton's favorite website, man. Just just because he loves how scores can be easily manipulated by. Hey, you just have to avoid really the really manipulation. If they're fans who love it that much and they're rating it higher because they love it that much, it's not really manipulated. I mean, it's accurate. No, no, no. You know, not not the I'm, I'm talking about the people putting ones on ALT yeah, just basically to make it lower. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. Fans putting it as ones. Yeah. That's what I'm it's talking just about. Petty nonsense. <laughs> but listen, Brian, because of what you just said, I'm gonna build a million walls made of your calves, and then I'm gonna activate them, <laughs> no. destroy them, and <laughs> come hunt you. Okay. The new <laughs> rumbling. Sounds the new good. rumbling. <laughs> oh god. All right. I think we'll just wrap uh, it up. So. Yeah, I, good. I didn't even have much to say. This just because, like, yeah, just mainly a lot of lore stuff, and so we'll let's we'll see what happens when the action gets going, and we get, get to speculate more on the plot. So, yep, all right, we reached a halfway point. Yeah, overall, still enjoying it. Well, I didn't realize it was halfway point, and so it's gonna be interesting how this ends. So definitely that, so. That'll be it for this week's yep. episode. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks everyone in chat. Thanks, thanks everyone too for commenting. Always appreciate that as well. So. You guys comment Thank you, for next week. We'll definitely shout you out as well. So thanks, guys. We'll see you yeah. next week. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.